All right, boys and girls, I am back with another Jim Skelton knife review. This is the Scaphoid Tron G-Shock Edition from Skelton Blade Works. This belongs to my good friend, Alex. You already know who he is, so I'm not even going to go into it. I'm going to try not to ramble on this one. The, uh, ska- the, <clears throat> the sheath is made by Mackie Custom Leather in uh, Texas. And he does great work. I love the way he did the basket weave look on this. It's got the little scallops here around the edges. I think it looks really good. Mackie also made the sheath for my mini Hellraiser, also made by Jim. Mine's just plain. I like it equally as much. It's just a different look. Both cool. Both super functional. I couldn't pick one over the other, honestly. I like mine better because that's the one I own. All right, so the G-Shock Tron Edition Scaphoid. Put a picture up here in the corner of the G-Shock Square that is the Tron Edition G-Shock Square. That's what this was made out of. Well, made in honor of. Jim had the idea of making these. I got Jim a G-Shock Tron. Alex owns a G-Shock Tron. Jim asked me if I wanted one also so Alex and I could have matchy-matchy knives. At the time, I blew it off. I, I wasn't going to get a Tron watch, and I just decided no. I think, I think that was long before I ended up with this one. So I, I could be wrong on the timing, but I think that we just, they talked about building this long before uh, he built me that mini Hellraiser. Well, he didn't even build it for me. He built it for somebody else that then never consummated the marriage, so to speak. And he offered it to me and well, it glows in the dark. So I, I had to buy it. I'm so weak. Y'all think I have money. I'm just irresponsible. I don't, <laughs> I'm just irresponsible guys. Anyway, I was a little bit responsible when I turned down getting a Tron knife. <clears throat> I think it's super cool. I love the motif. I grew up watching Tron way back. Um, and Jim and Alex were all kind of similar age. I think Jim and I are much closer in age. Alex is a little younger. But yeah, it just came out very cool. I don't know. G10 scales, CPM 154 blade steel. I think that's a lot of what Jim uses. I'm sure he'll chime in. I'm going to give you just a couple of the dimensions. I'll put them down in the description, maybe. Seven and five eighths overall with a 3.8 inch blade. Weighs in at 4.2 ounces by itself or 6.5 as a combo. That's about all you need is for dimensions. But this is very cool. Laser etch blade, PVD coated, then laser etched, even laser etched into G-Shock. I think it's very cool. Super cool. And then I don't know how, I, I don't even know. I don't want to know how he did this scales. but it's cool. I don't think he made the scales. He bought the scales that way. There's some sort of imperfections here where you're grinding and chamfering and whatnot that you just get a little bit of the different pattern inside of the G10 comes out. I think it's totally cool though. And I'm not a big fixed blade guy, right? We've talked about that many times, but since I have my mini Hellraiser here, it always gets a little bit of the black from the sheath on there, the leather. So the mini Hellraiser is slightly bigger than the Tron or the Scaphoid. This is the Scaphoid model. This is the mini Hellraiser model. <clears throat> I also have the fixed battle from Frank Fisher, just as another example of something I own. Again, I'm not a fixed blade guy. I recently did a fixed blade collection video 
where I talked about it more, so I won't ramble on about that too much. But this is super cool and it goes with the watch. So if you have a G-Shock Tron and you are into knives, hit up Jim. He very well may be able to make you one of your very own. The handle is a little blocky for my taste and I think that's just because I'm spoiled from the mini Hellraiser because it's super contoured, super smooth and sleek and sexy. This one's a little bit more chunky monkey built to do business. E -e 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 -e. I don't know. I like mine better, my knife better just because it's mine and mine glows in the dark. This does not. I checked. That would have been super cool. Probably would have been really freaking almost impossible to make the scale out of that material like that. But would that not have been badass? <laughs> All right. 12 year old, go away. The adults are talking now. Uh, very cool Tonto blade. Super great lines. Super precise grinding, which is hard to tell because of the PVD, but everything is super straight super just precise. Jim put a lot of time and effort into this and it shows. The dude is a craftsman. He went from YouTube reviewer. Well, he has a long career in front of the camera and behind the microphone. He's on TV and like a home shopping network selling watches way back. Reviewing knives, reviewing watches, and then bought a grinder and decided to make his own knives. Stop talking about them and start making them. I think it's a huge success story. He's come a long way and he's become a great friend of mine. So yeah, Jim, thanks for everything you've done, helping me and supporting me with my channel also. I probably wouldn't be here doing this if I hadn't watched so many hours of Jim and Jim getting me to buy things like the Hellraisers. Heck of a salesman, that guy. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Check out my Fixed Blade playlist over here. And check out Alex's channel over here. And you're already watching Jim, so I don't even need to tell you or ask you to go watch Jim Skelton. Because I guarantee you already are. Thanks a lot, guys.